Hi, my name is Eric Cheme, and I'm the New Brunswick Innovation Research Chair in Medical Devices at the Institute of Biomedical Engineering. We're really internationally renowned as one of the top centers in the world for prosthetics research. And this year is we're entering our 50th anniversary at the Institute here, so it's a big year for us. So we have several projects on the go right now, uh, both that we've developed internally, but also ones that we're working with industry. We think we can provide some economic benefit to the region and also create jobs to keep students here when they're done. One of the things that we face as researchers in this field is this expectation set by the media. So we see things like iRobot or Terminator, where we have fully functioning integrated hands. There's been a lot of progress over the years, both in terms of dexterity and control, but we're still working on it. And I think the field has identified that one of the biggest gaps right now is the idea of this, of this feedback, sensory feedback to the user. Um, where right now patients are able to control a device but really have no embodiment of that device because there's no information coming back. So there's a large group of researchers that are now starting to look at not only how do I control the device, but how do I make that part of me by providing the, the sensory feedback back to the user. We have a very close partnership with the, the Stan Cash City Rehabilitation Center up the hill. We have an actual working prosthetics clinic in-house here on campus at the university, uh, which serves all of Atlantic Canada the, with the clinic in-house we often get to see the results of our research on somebody right away. We get those smiles, we get that feedback, and it's tremendously rewarding. So I, th I think there's potentially huge impact in terms of our prosthetics research here at the Institute. We've already seen it disseminated across the world, uh, a number of some of the technologies that get used and some of the control approaches in prosthetics that are still used to this day were developed here at the Institute. There's the thing called the UNB three-state controller, which is still used widely across the world in prosthetics. We host the world's only triennial conference on upper limb prosthetics here as well. So we've done a lot of research here, but we've also focused really strongly on disseminating our research across the world so it has maximum impact. In terms of the New Brunswick Innovation Research Chair, there's tremendous potential here uh, within the province uh, with an aging population, uh, with a large incidence of chronic disease, a largely rural population. New Brunswick is almost a living lab for research in terms of, of, of health care and so we see it as a real potential for the rest of the country and North America to look at as a place for companies to come and develop to do clinical trials here. Um, so there's a real opportunity, but there's also a huge challenge. Because of that population, uh, because it's aging, there's a real need. And so it's, it's this perfect storm of opportunity and need that we think will drive innovation. New Brunswick's been a very innovative province over the years, and, and we're looking to continue with that.